Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and this is Heart and Hand Creations and Events. Welcome back guys. Today's DIY video will be formal mask designs. Let's get started on these masks guys because I already have two of them done. I have four masks to do. Two of them are done. It's a the bridal mask. I did that first. And then the lady who requested these four masks, I got hers done. So I have two more to do. And uh, and right now, and all I'm doing is, and all I am doing are the embellishments at this point. So, you know, if you guys want to see how that's done, don't go anywhere. And I'll be back in two seconds. Here are the masks that I already completed. This one is the bridal mask, as I said. It's not super duper fancy, and I didn't want it to take away from the the gown too much. I just wanted to go with it. So this material here, and these are actually this is three pieces: the lining, a cotton lining, um, the satin underneath of this, and um, what is this? Or organza? I can't think of what this material is called, but this is a lace. And I used the scalloped edge to go across the top. There we go. I have some small sequins on the side and across the bridge of the nose. The sequins that I used are, it's this trim. It's iron-on trim. And I purchased this at the um, Hobby Lobby. And um, so I just cut off strips, took a piece, cut the strips, and ironed them in place. And this is so, I'm like, yes. Now this one is for Ms. Nita. Her outfit is gray. So I have a, a gray satin mask for her with this pretty... Um, embellishment of trim at the top. It's a gray satin, a silvery gray satin, and I also put a row of the be of the uh, trim right in between these leaves and down the side on both sides, just to hide the seam near the ear. Mm hmm. And so, the next two masks, it's another gray mask, and I decided to make a burst, like a starburst or a sunburst type of pow thing going on there. And this one here is a blush pink with uh, some pretty, almost like a rosy pink, a rosy pink sequins. And these are three rows. It comes, this is how it came I got one yard of it. So what I'm going to use to attach this, instead of sewing it, I decided to use the Stitch Witchery Fusing Bond Web. That's what this is. This is the next best thing to iron on, y'all. So that's what I'm going to do. This, uh, it, when, of course, when it heats up, it evaporates and melts into the fabric or whatever it's being mended or bonded together and this will go on the back like this and then I'll put it in position and iron it and we'll come back and see what it looks like I didn't get a chance to tack down the where the ear loops are yet and I will be doing that also so guys that's to explain what I'm doing so let's get busy.
Alright, I don't like it, guys. So, I was, I was able to just pull that right off. And so, now that I have ruined the um, sequin here, instead of having three rows of the sequins, now I'm only going to have two rows. So, guys, um... I think I'm going to come back to this one. This one here, I was trying to do a starburst. I wanted to put a, a gem here and just have strips and rows of this gem strips to extend across the mask. This is the look that I'm trying to achieve, guys. And these gems right here will go at the end on the other side of the mask. So let's uh, let's see what it do. Right here, I am redoing or realigning the rows of gems to have the. Uh, exact look that I'm trying to get. I can't say perfect, so I'll just say exact. And um, so I'm just realigning them before I put the ironing sheet on and iron them in place.
Okay, now back to the pink blush mask. I decided to hand sew the trim in place. And again, like I said, I was going to have three rows of the of the trim, but I only have two rows left. So that's what I will be adding to this mask. And here's what I have going on. So at this point, now that I have my trim sequins in place, now I'm going to add some of the diamond iron on trim which I think will really give the final touch for this mask. Right here, you just see me getting it, the mask prepared to sew down the sides and also which will sew the ear loops in place okay guys now that i have uh, finished the sewing on the ear loops of the mask and i also tucked the rest of the end of the trim inside and i just sewed across the sequin i mean across the sequin i, I just sewed across the sequin and down the side Right here, I will be sewing, not sewing, I'm sorry. Right here is where I'll be ironing on the trim. Right up underneath of the sequin trim. And this time I made sure I did not put the iron on top of the sequins. And this is what we have. Once I was finished with all of my masks, I just smoothed them out real lightly with the iron to give them that fresh, crisp look. And this is the final result, guys. What do you think? This one is the bridal mask. I think it turned out beautiful. It's just enough for the bride's gown and this one turned out so nice and blingy it looks great guys so guys if you like the way I designed my mask in this video today let me know in the comments below also hit that thumbs up for a like if you like the content that I put out today also if you are new to my channel hit that subscribe button and come on in also hit that notification bell so that each time i upload a new video you will know guys yes these masks are great i can't wait to see what they look like on the ladies who they belong to so guys again if you like the content that i put out in my video today give me a thumbs up for a like if you're new to my channel tap that subscribe button then hit that notification bell so when I come up with the next video, you will know. And guys, I will see you all in the next DIY video. Thank you for stopping by and checking me out. Bye-bye.